Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to BWTM Sports in association with Round for Round Boxing, the game that's in development at the moment will be available on PC, PS4 and Xbox One. And there will be development plans to move this forward if there is a need for a PS5 or um, Xbox Two or whatever. If there's any updates, then, you know, uh, round for round boxing, we'll be doing that. The new boxing game. Check it out. Um, www.roundforroundboxing.com for all the latest news. But of course, this is the official channel. BWTM Sports is the official channel for all things round for round boxing trailers. Yesterday, we announced Hector Camacho, junior and senior, will be featured on the game. Among others, just check out our playlist. Also, in association and proudly in association with Three Kings Boxing, for all you out there that want your latest breaking boxing news unfiltered with all the truth, no spin, no propaganda, just the truth. Check out Three Kings Boxing, www.threekingsboxing.com. One of the fastest, if not the fastest growing media outlet in terms of traffic, in terms of uh, support. So Three Kings Boxing, check them out, www.threekingsboxing.com. They cover boxing from around the world and we are proud to be in association with them. Right, that's it. Let's move on. We have a special guest in the room and still remains a special guest to us. We have none other... And then the Commonwealth middleweight champion, Liam Cameron. Liam, how are you doing? Not bad, I've been better, though. Yeah, I can imagine you being better. Let's turn this, whack this volume up a bit more so people can hear you and can hear me and can hear the world. Yeah. And, you know, let's see if we can get something a bit more. Make sure that we yeah, heard. Is that, is that better? Now I'm whacking my volume up. Oh, you're whacking your volume up. <laughs> if I whack my volume up, then we'll be all good. Okay. So, Liam, for those people who don't know who you are very quickly, just give people your record. And where are you from? Um, 25 and 1, I think. Um, I'm from Sheffield. Um, the undefeated Commonwealth champion, now stripped of the belt. Um, just, a, just a guy from Sheffield um, trying my best. That's all I am. Okay, very quickly, I'm, I, I'm aware you're pushed for time at the moment, Liam. Um, we understand that you have been stripped of belt. I understand at first that you, you weren't actually going to vacate your title. That was what was... Um, Domestic, the story I heard in the Sun. What has happened? Not the Sun. I think it's the Sun. I heard that story. Can you let us know yeah, further yeah. about it? Um, well, it is. Um, they asked me to vacate the title, but to me that looks a bit guilty. Um, so nothing comes out in press. If I vacated, then the press won't come out. All in camera strips of these allegations. So I thought, you know what? My belt. I'm going to go down with shit. If I get stripped. I get stripped, but I thought I was going to be stripped when I'm actually banned, when I've actually had me hearing on the 3rd of October, but for some matters, um, I've been stripped before, um, whether it's right or wrong, I don't believe why I've been stripped is good, so. Okay, I understand, uh, so tell us, in, in your, from your story, what's actually happened, because we've read stuff, but in your opinion, what's happened, from your side of things? Supposedly, I've, I've, I've had a fight with Elliot Matthews in June. Right. Which I, knew not, I, I didn't really know nothing about I was fighting in June because I was I was suspended since April, so I couldn't possibly have a fight in June going through suspension. So what's happened is I've not actually fought in June, so basically they've stripped me for that reason and a reason because... My fight in April wasn't a Commonwealth defence, supposedly, when the British Boxing Board of Control confirmed it was a defence. It was um, it was on TV as a defence. Um, the, 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 there were three judges at ringside, and there was a drug test, what I, what I which wanted the drug test as well. Um, I don't think you have to 100% have one for the Commonwealth, but... We wanted one, um, and yeah, that, that's another reason why I've been being stripped. Make it, um, it, saying it's not, it's not, it weren't a Commonwealth defence. 
so then surely there would have been something you would have to sign to say it was a commonwealth thing on the on box rec it would say if, if whether it was a commonwealth defense or not yeah, it, it does it is a commonwealth defense but well I, i'm not i'm not in charge of, of this thing so I, all i can do is, is in my head i think it's wrong where we stick but it's up to them what they do it's their belt their organization but when okay. The British Boxing Board of Control saying it were a defence. It's not my fault. Elliot, uh, what's his name? Um, Jenman didn't make the weight. I turned up. I made the weight. He could. He could not win the title. It was only me. What could lose it? Lose it. If I lost it, it went vacant. So I got told before the before the fight, even the referee, um, it was the Commonwealth title defence. Now it's getting. Somehow getting changed to a non-defense. I don't know why. I don't know. So Very bizarre. The main, main reason is I'm I'm working on not getting banned on the third of October. So the other thing is, um, the story that came out was that you went and you you went to the dentist and you had a really bad toothache and because of the antibiotics, it's saying that you you've been done for inverted commas cocaine and then yeah, you've denied well, that well what it is it's not actual cocaine what's the, they've got it's a it's a it's an acid your liver produces what gets rid of the odd drugs cocaine being one of them i say i've heard amoxicillin yes it gets rid of um i've heard it's even in um, water london being the main one sheffield being the second one that that's another fact also, contaminated notes. Um, it's, it's well known I bite my finger now. So when I'm counting these notes and I bite my fingers, um, it's, it might have got a little bit gone into my system. They're not saying it's a big amount in my system. They're not saying it's like pure cocaine. It's the acid they found what gets rid of what gets rid of it. So that's all I can say really. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm not stupid enough on the biggest stage in my life. I've worked my arse off for 10 years for this belt. I'm not stupid enough um, to take cocaine before before a fight, which knowing I had a drug test, and which knowing we all, we paid for it, come out of my purse. We, we know we know your struggles. We know because we followed you up to that fight, the shitty fight. We knew what you were going through. We knew what you put your body through. We knew it yeah. didn't make, you know, you've put yourself through all that to then throw it all by, by ha just, you know, coking yeah. up. I didn't even have milk in my coffee, never mind cocaine up me now. So it just, just don't make sense to be fair. Um, but there is something there. I, I, I admit that there is something in my system that we can't get, a, get away from that. But we've just got these facts and hopefully um, this evidence will get me out of it because if it, if they want me to do, I can do a lie detector test and I'll pass 100%. So wait, can you clear that up for me? Because you're saying that there there is something in your system. No, there obviously is because there's, um, there's a manual, whatever it is, there's, there's found that acid in the system. I don't know how it's, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I've not deliberately took, which I'd be stupid, any man on this earth would be stupid to take it before a fight. So, um, yeah, I so deliberately took anything. I, I um, mean, it's not the first time that a fighter has been accused of using cocaine um, in boxing. Um, I, it's just a personal question. Are you, uh, it's not even a personal question. You 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 flatly denied um, using coke at any time. Oh yeah, no chance. Not doing it. Um, I could admit the charge and get off the off. I could get like 16 months if I, if I admit it. But I'd rather get 10. I'd rather get 10 years ban and stick to my word because I can't. I'd be admitting something I've not done, even if it even if it's time to pack in boxing. Um, I can't admit admit stuff like that what I've not done. So let me ask you. Let me ask you a question in, in another way. Um, do you feel that there is uh, that you're being uh, targeted or hoodwinked in one way or the other? And 
potentially you can't be beaten for that Commonwealth title and maybe if they move you out the way, then things can move on? Um, whether, I, I don't know. Um, I don't think I'm being targeted. I, I feel personally I've, I've been, I've been um, trapped unfair with the Commonwealth. Personally, okay. I, I, I do believe that. Um, I can't deny I can't deny or lie saying that they've tripped me fairly in this matter. They could have at least waited till the 3rd of October for me. Yeah. Um, tribunal, but we haven't. Um, Elliot Matthew fights fights for the title on a free uh, on a free sports um, event. Okay, so now, so what? Ha so Elliot Matthews will fight for your title now. Yeah, against an African. What's what Sam Sheedy beat the the African? Um, I think he's lost five one. And who like who that. who spot who's promote who promotes Elliot Matthews? Um, more prayer, um, more prayer. I think it's British um, warriors, whatever it is. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Interesting. So, what would be the plans for you then? You, you, I mean, I mean. So, what do you think? What would what would be your plans after this then? Um, hopefully, I'm not. I'm not banning enough. I can box December. I'd like to get back in ring December and go the IBF route. Um, I'm number 12 at IBF now, so I'd love to go that route. And then uh, just, just um, I had to turn a fight down with Martin Murray, and it, it was for big money as well, so I was absolutely gutted. When Billy Joe Saunders pulled out, they offered me Martin Murray as a replacement. So that as well, that, that really an article to swallow and I, and I couldn't um, accept it. So, you, you get stripped to your title, there's a possibility you could get suspended or banned, and then, yeah. and on top of all that, you could have got a big money fight against Martin Murray. Yep, exactly. <laughs> People don't realise what I've had to go through to get this title. I've had to box for absolute peanuts to, to get where I am. People think it's all like I've, I've, I've had good money these last two fights I've had a, it's been nothing I haven't even covered probably my training camp what I got yeah when when people kind of listen to that and you hear you say things like that Liam then they can actually say well okay he hasn't got pay, he's paid any peanuts and why would a man who's hungry he gets a chance to become Commonwealth type champion why is he going to throw that away by sticking exactly. something in his nose I wish they could see into my head and they, they, they'd know straight away I've not I've not done I've not took it um but that's for me to that's for me and my barrister and lawyer kind of thing to fight and get me get me out of it. I don't even I've done six months in I will have done six months in October, so I've done six months on kind of remand. Um so you know what I mean it's been hard time, it's been pure hell, absolute hell. How's it affected your family? I mean, you know, your I know your your missus is very supportive of you, and your family are very yeah. supportive. So, how how has that affected your family, and and, and what have you had to endure? Well, they want me to pack in. They, they just think, uh, they just want me to pack in. They just said, "Oh, what? Just like fed up and what what's happening and stuff." They just want me to pack in. They don't think it's a good sport to be in. Uh, they are happy me for me to just so listen. Retired um, Commonwealth from the Peters. Mate. With the Commonwealth. Um, You've got so much more to offer the game. You've got so much more to offer the game. I know, I know. Well, hopefully I get, I get off with it. So, and I'll be happy, I'll be happy again. It's like my life's being ripped apart. Kind yes. Of thing, so. But come on, Liam, you're a fighter and you're a fighter deep down from beginning to end. That's it, that's it. You know, um, so, so okay. I'm so, fighting, I'm fighting all the way. So I could, I could have vacated the title. I haven't done. Could have admitted to my, I could have admitted it, which I totally can't do that when I've not done it. So I'm fighting it all the way. Whether I get a year to ten years, you don't matter. Um, as long as I, as long as I stand proud and. Um, no, I haven't done it. That's all that matters. That's the main thing. That's the main thing, Liam. Um, on a brighter note, um, but look, you haven't got the Commonwealth, you won't have the Commonwealth title now. You'll, if, if, you know, things 
things go the way you want it to go, you'll go down the IBF route. Look, who knows? You might even get a world title shot. Exactly. Number 12, no. Um, so I don't think I'll be boxing for the Commonwealth title again. Um, totally done it. What about British title? Would you go for the British title? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm number four in Britain. I've actually, I've got a bit of, bit of name behind me, so I can get back to it. And so um, I can't even watch boxing. I ain't watched boxing since it's been suspended. I'm so sorry to hear this. Have you so, had, um, have you had, in terms of being online, have you had any sort of abuse online? Yeah, yeah. yeah I've had a bit of abuse, yeah. Just that people. Mainly, it's just the yeah, odd. It's just like the opponents, uh, like people in my weight category, it's powers like stuff like that. So major, but people have been great with me. They've been absolutely so supportive. It's been been nice to see, to be fair. And I thank them for sticking by me. Absolutely, that's what you need, Liam. Um, finally, you, I know you. We we talked about round for round boxing. What are your thoughts about round for round boxing? Yeah, I can't wait to be in it. When, when, when am I going to be in it? <laughs> <laughs> so you want to be in it? You can't put the Commonwealth title around me, though, because it, it's gone on it. So maybe IBF, when I win that, you might have to put that on it. There we go, Liam. So you could be a British fighter within the round-for-round round boxing game. Let, talk to us a little bit about your history with the boxing games. I love them. I love boxing games. I used to knock out Kings boxing, all them games I used to make, daft boxes and stuff, and put, put camera on waistband and used to really take it serious. Like, a, when I was a kid, I used to love it when you build titles. Okay. I one of them, and all when I lost, I used to take computer off fast. <laughs> <laughs> I did the same thing so, too. So I lost in go up on my records, I'd be, I'd be about 100 and all. Yeah, I felt the same way too. This would be great to get you on the game, uh, Liam. It would be absolutely great to get you on the game and I'll, I'll put a good word in for you. Um, nice, look, champ, uh, final question. You know, the middleweight, I know you don't watch boxing, but Golovkin versus Canelo, any thoughts on that fight? He's my man, isn't he? Golovkin, we've spoke highly about him. Yeah. Um, I'm, still, I'm still waiting the sparring call. <laughs> yeah, I just hope it smashes Canelo to bits, to be fair. Uh, smashes into bits uh, I think he deserves it okay uh, and I, I, hope, I hope he does win one more fight because obviously you talked about the IBF uh, Danny Jacobs against Devrinchenko have you seen ever the, you seen any of those guys fight yeah uh, is it too soon for that Shenko kid is it, it maybe you should, why, why, you should have had a couple of more fights in my eyes well, why not uh, just have a couple of more learning fights, then fight him. This only why he's gonna lose is through experience. I know he's had the amateur pedigree, but you can't beat them twelve round fights, can you? No, you can't. In. You certainly can't. You certainly can't. And the big man Fury is back this weekend. Yeah, well, I've got a couple of fighters, but he's got banned. He's come back, and everyone loves him. They're talking about him, so maybe I've got a. Start uh, paying attention more to Fury and stuff and start. There you go. It's a bit, it's a bit like his story, isn't it, kind of thing. There you go, and uh, yep, yeah, of course. So there's, there's, there's hope for you yet, Liam. There's hope for you yet. Um, any That's thoughts? Bit, any thoughts about him and Wilder before you go? Um, uh, just shows you the difference in balls, isn't it, and uh, what he's got, to Joshua. I, I, I believe him. Um, after the fight on Saturday, I think Wilder and Fury is going to de announce the fight. Me personally, I don't know if it's true, but I think that's what's going to happen. I think they're going to get in the ring and they're going to get it and then the fight's going to be announced. That's it. That's it. Liam Cameron, thank you so much for talking to BWT and Sports giving us your exclusive no. time. You take, easy, pal. you take care, Liam. All the best. You, you too, mate. Bye. Take care, Liam. Bye-bye. So there you have it, live and exclusive, and only on BWTM Sports. Liam Cameron, defiant about his case, even though he's been stripped of the Commonwealth, he is not going to go down without a fight. That's it from us at BWTM Sports. We hope you've enjoyed this exclusive. Don't forget, roundforroundboxing.com. Check it out, threekingsboxing.com and BWTM Sports, all in association, all working together. 
and knockout combination. See you soon. Take care.